stand up so he can see what he missed. High pitch. Look at this. This is how many times you've What is that? wrong with you? Oh. Oh. Show, pull down your top. Show him some of your booby. I love that tattoo on you. Look oh at that. Oh, my God. Is Australia a city or a continent? It's a city. The show is doomed. <laughs> I can't give away this butt. Is somebody going to leave with their liquor license or what? What's going on here? Oh with, their, with their liquor license? You get it. Now, remember, you got to answer three questions. Here we go. All right. You want to use a strap-on on Kendra Jade. <laughs> Is that right? How do I get what myself is, into this? Are you things? really going to do this? <laughs> of course she's going to do it. What does that do for Debbie? What does, it, does that work for you? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Probably not, but I think the experience is more... Well, maybe you'll do other stuff to each other, too, right? Um, is that no. right, Kendra? We'll see. We'll see. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh. Debbie's certainly in good shape. All right. All right Your first question. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What kind... All right, wait, I'll start, I better start her easy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what state is New Orleans in? Louisiana. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. Wow. That is the first correct answer we've had. Everybody's made it past round one. <laughs> wow. Good for you, girl. Wow. Here we go. What does HBO stand for? Home box office. Uh -oh. Is that your final answer? Yes. Ooh. That is correct. Is it? What? Is that? I wasn't sure. She's got two correct. And now your final uh, question. Here we go. Be prepared, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do, what is it, Gary? Get ready. No, I was going to see what kind of question you were going to ask her. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Spell influenza. Influenza. I-N-F-L-U-E-N-Z-A. Is that your final answer? Yes. My final answer. Are you answer. sure? Positive. Is that a guess? No. I better know it for all you the You are a billionaire! Yeah. Wow! Finally! You are a butt billionaire. We have the balloons and the confetti. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody's won. Kendra Jade, someone has won your butt. Stand up and show Debbie the Queef Girl your butt. Oh, show her what she won. Turn around and show it to her. How do you like that? That's are you, nice. Are you attracted to her? Yeah, yeah Kendra definitely. Ever done anything like that before? Kendra, I like this have now. you ever had a uh, strap on? With, uh, no. No, so this oh, is something new. Are you looking forward to this? You. Sure. Sure. You're up for it. I'm wow. up. I'm game. I mean, I don't think it'll be painful for you. After all, you burned your breast and didn't even know it. <laughs> Unbelievable. You think she has feeling nowhere? <laughs> right. Well, uh, Debbie, have you ever been with a woman before? Yes, oh, but I have. never did that. I, yeah. I, well, I, this strap one is you, different. You're going to have to come back and tell us how it is. All right. You're the first person to win the butt. <laughs> you, you know what? This is all going to happen within a matter of hours. Is that right? Yeah, but this oh. kid just got to go somewhere tomorrow, so it's going to oh, all happen today. Oh, it's going to happen today. Oh, are you oh. ready? Are you ready for the butt? <laughs> Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow and tell us. And Kendra, if you can, you'll call in or something. Because Absolutely. Everyone's going to want to know how when it was. Go, when are you going to get some sleep? <laughs> Never. Girls, do you mind if I sit and watch while you do it? Please. Please, yeah. But I think we'll Debbie would here. mind. I think Debbie would mind. Oh, you Debbie would do it right here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm nah. going to be a little different. <laughs> All right. I think you want to be. Shy. <laughs> Debbie, you want to be alone when you're with Kendra J. Yeah. Oh, I see. You don't want a big, goofy guy with long hair watching. All right. See that? Get in there and... Well, congratulations, you won. Oh, thank you. You're the first winner so far. Uh, I feel so excited. Do you I... have anything you want to plug? <laughs> Kendra Jade. <laughs> show him your breasts and your butt. Get, just kill this guy with your breasts and butt. Look at that. And show him, show him the butt. 
scandalous idea. Her name was Gina Gina the Sex Machina. A sexy new star. I was carrying the film and I was strikingly unprepared. A movie that Hollywood hated. Everyone thought the movie was going to be a disaster. But when Flashdance became a phenomenon. Flashdance for a while there was the talk of the town. The critics changed their tune. When the movie became a hit, everybody came out of the woodwork. It's the story you haven't heard. Flashdance, this Sunday at 9 on the E! True Hollywood Story. <laughs> We have one more contestant. Oh my! And so it could be a doubleheader. Two. A double <laughs> right. <laughs> we have a man this time. All right. His name happens to be <laughs> Lee. Lee. And Lee is a tough guy. They say. Oh, really? Hi, this is Lee from Queens. I'm here to play Buff Billionaire, and let's get ready to go. He's doing this to get back at his old girlfriend. What'd she do? Well, his girlfriend has been screwing around behind his back. He claims. Is that right? Lee, you're a tough guy? No. Oh. Gary told me you're a tough guy. Is he trying to be a tough guy? It doesn't sound like a tough guy whose girl is screwing around. Yeah. Lee, you want to get back at your old girlfriend? Why not? Right. What happened? She was screwing around behind your back, you say? Yeah, with the friend. With, with the your friend. friend? Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. And how long were you with this girl? Eight years. Wow. Oh. With the kid. How did you with find a kid. out? With a kid. Well, she left. Because she got pregnant by him. Oh. Oh, well, that's a good reason to leave. Yeah. At least she's with the father. <laughs> <laughs> well, my baby looks like mine. All right. So, so you're right. Can I ask, when you, when you have to call to talk to your kid, do you have to talk to this guy? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Now, Lee, you heard me, me no more. You heard me in that. Oh, really? When you want to go see the kid? Ah, so what? Who cares? You'll find, you look, Can't sweat Stand it. up, Kendra Jaden. Show this man what he's playing for. Oh. Make him forget his troubles. Right. Look at that. <laughs> look at the butt on her. How's that? Nothing wrong. Think you can handle that? Not a problem. Have you ever had uh, anything like that before? Yeah. You've done the butt. Okay. <laughs> Not a bad looking guy. Is he a bad looking guy? No. Not a bad looking no. guy. Well, if Eric is average, this guy must yeah, be you're, Tom Cruise. Yeah, you're Tom Cruise compared <laughs> to high pitch Eric. And you, uh, you like women? No problem. No problem liking women. And you're pretty good. You got a nice package. <laughs> I had no problem with that. Either. No problem. All right. Are you a smart guy? Did you graduate high school? GD. GD. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Because on Butt Billionaire, people with high school diplomas sometimes do very bad. Yeah, we've had a lawyer in here. He lives right, right by me, too. Too high pitch? Well, watch out for him because he's friends with the cops. <laughs> He'll invite you over for wine. Yeah, you might never get out of there alive. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your first question on your road to becoming a Butt, butt billionaire. billionaire. You saw how easy it was for Debbie the Queef Girl. Could you answer her question? Oh, did, did he hear her question? Did you hear her questions or were you in our isolation tank? <laughs> No, I heard them. You heard the questions. Could you have answered all three of those? Yeah. You could have. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. We'll start out with an easy one. What kind of food group does broccoli fall into? Vegetables. Is that your final answer? Yes. That's correct. Vegetables. All right. Wow. <laughs> person who's gotten passed around. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. You could be a butt billionaire. Look at the smile on his face. You know, it's funny, Howard, after he got yeah. it right, he eyed her up like, yeah, you're my baby. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, get it ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Name the president during America's Civil War. Lincoln. Is that your final answer? Yes. Boy, I can uh, smell that butt. Oh, <laughs> that is correct. You that is your second right. question away. And that was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. Okay. And finally, for the butt, for the whole... Shmageggy. The whole gazinya. <laughs> Here you go. Are you hoping he wins? We'll see what happens. I okay. don't know. All right. I don't <laughs> Would you like to have him... Girl and a guy and... Right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Did she hear the question? <laughs> Is that your final answer? That wasn't even an I'm answer. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's your final answer. <laughs> the vice president of the United States is Al Gore. What state is he from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't like the look on your face. I was pulling for you, pal. Take your time, though. Go to Massachusetts. What did you say? Massachusetts. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Sorry, Not you don't get the butt. You don't get it. Let's see, Kendra, did you know the answer to that one? I didn't, actually. No. no. The answer is Tennessee. Tennessee. You were there. One question away. I thought, I thought you had it. Oh. 
He will look so confident. <laughs> he wants that butt. Last wow. question. There's, there show him the show him your breasts and your butt. One more. K- just kill this guy with your yeah. breasts and butt. Look at that. Look at what you could have had. Look at the size of those memories. Oh. And show him show him the butt. Well, what are you gonna do? Say goodbye. Take it. <laughs> well, like your first girlfriend, she's gonna split too. <laughs> oh. Is somebody gonna leave with their liquor license or what? With their liquor license? You get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> Ah, the status that comes with a gold card. Now, it's not just reserved for the privileged few. Hello, and welcome to flight 163. We'd like to start by boarding our valued economy class passengers first. Introducing the Visa Gold Card from Capital One. The one gold card for everyone. Call Capital One at 1-800-521-1332 to get yours today. Because now, you're eligible for gold status, even if you weren't in the past. Call Capital One at 1-800-521-1332. Get all the benefits of a gold card, like extended warranty protection, even travel and emergency assistance, with no application fee or hidden charges. Mm, This is good. It's time to go gold. Call 1-800-521-1332 to get your Capital One Gold Card now. We got a winner, and what's going to happen is this afternoon, the two of these kids are going to get together. These lucky kids. (laughs) These two lucky kids are going to get together with a strap Uh, on. Oh, my goodness. How do I know when she's done? Well, I don't know. (laughs) That's a good question. I don't know. What a party. Do you think you'll be doing other things? Will you kiss her at all? I'm not really a kissing type of girl. Oh, you don't kiss? No, I don't like to. So you're going to you're gonna be with this girl, mm-hmm. and I imagine you'll go into a hotel room, and there won't be any kissing. Will you ki- will you, will you, will you, you must perform something on her, no? <laughs> I mean, she, she passed you her age test. You give her pleasure. Will, will you, you give her any kind of pleasure? Um, I'll do her with the strap on if she oh, likes. Oh, I see. I see. But you will, you will not uh, you will not perform oral sex on her. No. No. But what if she wants to perform on you? Will you allow her to do that? Yeah, I don't see why not. You don't see why they would have a problem with that. Yeah. You let her do that for a while, and then but, she will. Oh, I just uh, uh, do you not like women? No, it's not that I don't like. I'm very inexperienced when it comes to women. Is that? I've had only maybe two encounters wow. with women, and so I don't. You know. But did you mm-hmm. like it? Um, <laughs> kind of. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Men, so how do you know my, when men you is my preference. Men are my preference. It's, it's a, how do you know when you're done? I mean, when, 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 when Let's bring back our our winner. Yes. How are we bringing up a lot of <laughs> questions now? Well, maybe you'll get into it, and then you'll tell her when you're done. Perhaps. Yeah. You know. Do you think you can have an orgasm this way? I, I'm not sure. Have you ever had an honest. orgasm with any of your clients or customers? <laughs> no, you have not. No. Is that true? Never. Never. Why? You can't get excited over them. <laughs> Is wow. that true? I think for a woman, a lot of it's psychological. You know, you got to be with somebody you like. How about in I a film? Saying. Ever in a film? Mm. Yeah. You? You've had an orgasm mm-hmm. in a film. Mm-hmm. You have. Mm-hmm. I see. Wow. Debbie the Queef Girl, you've won the butt. When will we know you're done? I mean, you're going to be wearing a strap oh, on. I mean, a guy I, we know when he's done, but... I, I thought that as well. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> I guess, after the... Just for the thrill and for the experience to see what happens. Right. Do you <laughs> think you'll be giggling through it? Do you think you'll be I nervous? I always giggle. That's... I can't help it. Right. Uh, maybe. Well, right. Well, I'm you, sure that's a turn off, but I can't help it. <laughs> and Debbie, when you go in there, what will you do? Will you want to undress Kendra Jade? Or are you going to take her clothes off? Or do you want her just to take her own clothes off? Uh, she can take her own clothes off. I right. could watch. Are I'm you going to watch? Okay. And then are you going to take all of your clothes off? Uh, probably not. Why is that? Because I'm shy. Well, how about if Kendra <laughs> begins to undress you? Well, possibly that would be cool. Well, what are you going to do? Leave your pants on? Well, she, oh. if she undressed me, that would be cool. Would be, yeah. yeah. Kendra, yeah, you're going to... Debbie does like women, so she yeah. will be into this. Kendra, yeah. are you... So are you going to touch Kendra? Are you going to play yeah, around with her? Definitely. Are you going to fiddle around with her? Do you yeah. think that you'll be uh, giving her oral? Um, if she wanted it, she, I heard she didn't. So no, I don't she didn't say do she didn't. She, she just doesn't do. know. She no, doesn't <laughs> she said she, you're gonna let you're gonna let. Um, I I really was not expecting for a girl to win. <laughs> right. So I'm so unprepared, and I have like really no idea what's gonna happen. So Debbie's gonna want to touch you. Are you gonna undress yourself, or would you like her to undress you? 
Either way. You don't care. No. Well, maybe someone's got to take charge here. Maybe Debbie, you, you should take charge. I probably, I'll be the man. Right. Are you gonna, would you like to long. kiss uh, Kendra Jade at all during this? If she wanted it, sure. I mean, if right. it happened, like it, it's like spontaneous to just go in. Women there are different that way. I think the guys can just go in and like take off their pants. Exactly. And they're ready. It's you know, different. Right. These right. Are some of the issues that we're maybe dressed. you two should kiss now. Maybe have a little kiss. Well, I knew it was going to be brought up. No, I can't on camera. You can't. You can't. It's too hard. All right. And and you're saying that what? What if Kendra started to take off your shirt? Would you oppose that? No, no. I no, see. I wouldn't. And your bra? And that would be fine if right. it was Kendra and, doing and it. And what if Kendra pulls your pants off? <laughs> and then you're in your thong. Are you wearing a thong? Oh, uh, yeah. You are. Uh-huh. So would you like that if she uh, pulled your yeah, pants off? Yeah, that would be cool. Right. Yeah, she's a pretty nice. Good. Right. Mm. Is somebody going to leave with their liquor license or what? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, with, their, with their liquor license? You get it. You know what I'm saying. Um, I don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. So no, no. Wait a second. So so then so then she'll undress you and you'll undress her and. And then you'll sit there and go, well, what do we do now? And then see? who? And then you will. Then you. Do you have a strap-on device? No, I don't. You but don't. I thought that. See, okay. Whenever I was with another girl, I brought I brought one of my toys. You did bring a my strap-on. Favorite. You do. Let me see. Oh, it. Where so is it? Is it here? No, it's a, it's in the car. It's okay, fine. She right. keeps it in the car. Right. Well, Boy, it was in my bag. <laughs> well, I wanted to be prepared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so she so so. Kendra's going to have her strap on. Okay. All right. And 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 you are going to put this on. Right. And mess around with her. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, then it sounds like an interesting you, uh, session. Uh, you're going to attempt to turn her on, aren't you? You're going to try. Yeah. I, I usually, whenever I was with a girl, the girl was always the aggressor. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you what my suggestion is. Okay. I think with this Kendra Jade, you've got to really just go in and do what you want. Just go to town. <laughs> go to town. Because she is going to lay there like a lox unless you <laughs> get her going and i really i really perceive this and when you take the male yeah. role like some guys are afraid of women will say no don't be afraid there are no doors closed probably right you yeah, gotta be no, a bit I of a like guy to have my hair pulled and yeah she likes yeah. it rough okay, that's cool yeah you, you know go for it <laughs> i think it would be in fact if you're smart if you want to kiss her wear a jerry springer mask <laughs> how are you feeling that it's that it's a girl that won and not a guy well i'm surprised because i was expecting for it to be a guy and so I'm totally unprepared. I have like no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm not used to this whole girl thing. Does it does it make a difference? No, no. Mm-mm. Not at all. No. So it's still gonna be. I a mean, I think it's gonna be probably easier this way because girls know more what girls like. So you took care of her with the toy? Yeah, yeah. I her oh that my. Was the actual butt ever used? Yes, it was. On the phone now is Kendra Jade, who, uh, as you know, was the prize in Butt Billionaire. We valued her butt at a billion (laughs) dollars. Kendra, is that you? Hello. All right. And on the other line is Debbie DeQueef Girl. Debbie? Yes. And you were the lucky winner of... Hi, Debbie. Hello, Kendra. Oh, they're fast friends now. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, Debbie, you answered three questions correctly yesterday, and you won, in fact, Kendra Jade's butt. Right. And uh, so you guys, I guess uh, later after the show sometime, you went, what, to a hotel? Yes. Okay, and uh, d- there you went into the room, and Kendra and Debbie, if you could, could you take us into the room with you and explain what happened? Was it a monstrous did they success? Did meet in the room, or did they drive over together? Uh, we, we drove over together. You did. And did you girls start making out in the car, or did anything unusual happen? No, no, we didn't, we didn't make out. Did you talk in the car? Yeah, yeah. You did, okay. And when you got to the room, um, uh, Debbie, was it weird for you? I mean, Kendra is a pro. I mean, she's... You know, she's she, been in these yeah, situations. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. weird. I, felt, I think it was awkward for both of us, though, at first. Yeah, it was, because we weren't sure of each other. Okay. You so know, but once we got to know each other, it was really cool. You missed a great time now. Oh, I bet. Really? <laughs> now, Debbie, yes. <laughs> so, Kendra, you had uh, as many sexual experiences as you've had. You've never been with a woman with a strap on. That's true. Right. And and, and you really didn't know what to expect. Right. Now, That's De- true. Debbie, what happened? When you got in the room, did you guys begin to kiss? I know Kendra doesn't like to kiss. Well, I feel the same way she does. Like, if I don't know someone, I feel kind of shy from kissing, too. Right. So we basically started touching each other. Mm-hmm. Were you all? Were you fully clothed at this point? At this point, yeah, right. we were. Um, he, she had uh, this really sexy dress from Fredericks of Hollywood on, mm-hmm. 
and I had my clothes on still, but I, w- I like to touch her because it- I was never with someone so bodacious, and it was really cool. <laughs> right. When you say bodacious, you mean her full figure? Yes. Right. She awesome. has She has beautiful body, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. Okay. Now, were they sitting on a couch at this point, or were they on a bed? We were on the bed. You were on the bed. So you were touching each other, and did uh, Kendra remove her clothing herself, or did you take off her Fredericks of Hollywood dress? Um, we shifted it around, like I would pull it, like she kept it on, but like I would pull it up, you know what I mean, when right. it needed to be up, and then pull right. it down when it needed to be down. Right, in but other I words... I did take her clothes off. You yeah, did. she did, she got my clothes off, Howard. So, so, <laughs> you, so Kendra, you undressed Debbie. Yeah. All right, Debbie, your husband wasn't in the room during this? Uh, he was outside panting. Okay. <laughs> he was here against the door. Right. So, and he was not jealous of your, uh... Not from Kendra, no, I think you fully enjoyed it. Okay, so when you were there, now, did you find that when she took your clothes off that you were sexually aroused? Oh, when she took her clothes off? No, when you when she took your clothes off, did oh, that get yeah. you excited? Yeah, I, I thought it was great. And Kendra, I, when you undressed her, did you find yourself uh, strangely attracted to her? Yeah, we were really having a good time. I'll tell you, she has a great personality, so mm. she made it so much easier and more comfortable for so me. So were you giggling and talking while this undressing was going on? Yeah. And, and is Kendra getting excited? Um, I was, like, moderately excited at that point. I was, like, very nervous, so it was kind of, I was anxious. Strange that you would be nervous, but yet there you are getting nervous. I was, yeah. Okay. yeah it was kind of weird, Howard. Like, I wasn't expecting her to be the nervous one. <laughs> right, so she was uptight. I, I think maybe Kendra had a, a desire to please you. After all, her butt was valued as a billion-dollar <laughs> butt. She has a reputation. Yeah. She it's has worth a reputation. It. Yeah. Were you feeling pressure, Kendra, to give her a really good time? Absolutely. Okay. But well, I think that I did. Oh, definitely. All right, so did you two, now that you're naked on the bed, the both of you, I, I suppose, Kendra, at some point the dress came off. No, it didn't, actually. It stayed it on the whole time. It would come down and come up, but never completely off. All right. At times, would you pull your top down so your breasts were exposed? Yeah. You would, I see. So now you're naked on the bed, and you guys are writhing around. Mm-hmm. And did <laughs> you... Who is being the aggressor? She was, actually, more than I was. Kendra <laughs> was? No, 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 no. Debbie, Debbie was. Debbie was. And, Debbie, did you uh, perform uh, oral favors on... Uh... Um, we never did that. It never worked out. Like, we, we basically, we were feeling each other. It never really came to that because we... The toy kind of came into exactly. the Exactly. I see. The, the, the toy. So, <laughs> right. so you used that, and uh, now, did Kendra use that on you, or you, or you just used that on Kendra? She used it on me first. Right. And then she used And then it. I was like, well, I can't just, like, walk out of here only, like, having me <laughs> be happy. So I, I had to take care of her. That's Kendra talking, right? Yeah. 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 You, so you took care of her with the toy? Yeah. yeah. I her oh, that my. Part. And was, was the actual butt ever used? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, it was? <laughs> yes, it Kendra, was. you enjoyed that? Yeah. That was the first time you had that with a woman. Right. And, and, and you got off on that? Yeah. Well, look at this. And how long did the actual session go? I would say maybe a half an hour. Oh, my God. And everybody had uh, felt uh, satisfied and relaxed. Absolutely. I gave her my number. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah we exchanged numbers. She wow. She's see me when she's out in L.A. Is there a chance that the two of you would get together again? Definitely. Quite, pr- quite likely. Wow. <laughs> was it was it a billion dollars worth, Debbie? Oh, that, I would say yes. Wow. But billionaire living up to its name. <laughs> Don't touch that dial, because Wild on Party Central is breaking the party barrier. Party, party, party! In the next hour, we're living la vida loca. We'll get wet and wild in Panama City, Florida. We started drinking at 5 o'clock yesterday. We'll check out the sum. This is the biggest party in the world. And take you to the most exciting, <laughs> most unbelievable, everybody smells like marinara sauce, most eye popping parties around the globe. So sit tight because this is Wild on Party Central, baby. <laughs> Are you ready for an hour of the wildest parties imaginable? Happy Halloween, Las Vegas! How are you feeling? Hang 
on tight because Todd and I are at the wildest Halloween party on the Las Vegas Strip. I see the Brady girls out there. You say you want more? <laughs> Our next stop is Panama City, Florida, a no holds barred spring break retreat. Spring break is off the hook. There's all these fat ass guys and all these females just strutting around like cats. It's awesome. Then we're off to the Big Easy for a taste of Mardi Gras. The big thing down here is show your but that's only the beginning. Party, party, dance and drink. <laughs> because next we're heading to the southernmost spot in the USA for a little fright and a lot of fantasy. Everybody comes out here just for one purpose, the party, and the party only. We'll show you the meaning of a spuma. I thought it was going to be like this high, and it was like up here. Get saucy in Spain. All right, we're going in. Shake our booty in Rio. Thousands of people playing the drums. The women dancing, wearing next to nothing, you feel it in your in your soul. Conga with the bunnies in Tinseltown. Who would be at home when you could be here? And with a few leaders in Munich. The biggest party I've ever been to in my life. And if that's not enough, you'll get a front row seat for the most exotic. When you come here, you've got to be outrageous. Most erotic. It is a total visual experience. Party anywhere on the planet. Todd and I are having a blast at Dr. Frankenstein's Mad Halloween Ball at the Rio in Las Vegas. The only thing scary about tonight is all the partying going on in there. So while we're getting wild in Sin City... You folks are off to a dream destination. And Brookie, I'm talking about a place that has a reputation of warm rays, hot babes, and parties that'll knock your $1.99 plastic goggles right off your head. Naked people everywhere! Naked everywhere! When spring break hits, it explodes across the U.S. and Mexico, but nobody does spring break like Panama City, Florida. There's like these beef pits up and down the beach, these hot girls in the bikinis, it's fun, it's wild, it is the number one spring break. Spring breakers come from all over. I'm from Alaska, Illinois. I go to the University of Wisconsin. New Jersey in the house. To what's affectionately